Download the SlideNet plugin from the link in the description and drag the MCR file into the 3DS Max viewport to install. To use the plugin, navigate to the Customize menu and select Customize User Interface. Under the Toolbar tab, find the SlideNet action and drag onto the toolbar. To use the tool, you will need to prepare a base mesh with UVs that the chains will conform to. I've halved mine to save time. I'm cutting these selections as having the unwrap as a single shell will cause the chains to be warped, and the straighter the unwrap, the less cleanup you will have to do at the end. To create the layout for our chains, select your base mesh and click the slide net tool that we added to the toolbar. This will create a flat, morphable representation of our mesh, allowing the chains we attach to this to morph alongside it. I created the chains with a cylinder of eight sides, having a cap segment to detach the shape I need. The shape is rotated 30 degrees. I used the snap tool to align them to each other and then mirror to get the basic tiling pattern. Now we need to position the chains on the layout, making sure the chains are not overlapping the morphed base mesh. I've attached the duplicated chains to one object to make it easier to work with. Here I'm adding the shell modifier to add some thickness before adding the skin wrap. With the skin wrap modifier applied to the chains, in the parameters, click the add button and select the layout. When it's done thinking about it, click the add button again to interact with the viewport. With that done, the chains should now conform to the new layout. To fill the gap in the chain mail, I have moved the individual elements into position. Repeat these steps on the other part of the layout to create the full mesh.